can't see a thing in here. I am Groot. In the... What, in a giant alien lunch sack? Never would have happened if you'd come with me. Everyone stay quiet. I'll get Drax. Wakey, wakey, big guy. Time to get up before the worms do. Enough awkward hugging for today. Seriously, Drax, get off me. I will help you. No, no, not you, Mantis. No.
Something small. Still fresh. Must be close. I got you, Papa. You should have seen your face. Outwitted by your own daughter. Kamaria, I knew you were there the whole time. I let you find me. You can be so stubborn. That cry of yours was real. You have now completed the test of guile and diversion. These skills will serve you well on the warrior's path, where every child- Just leave their home and make the perilous journey to the training grounds. Take it seriously, Kamaria. I say it out of love, daughter. This path, it is not to be taken lightly. If... If I was scared, that would be all right, wouldn't it? Not that I am. It's just that... I mean... I suppose many who seek the warrior's path might have such feelings. It is normal to feel scared. It is? Yes. So use it to make yourself more focused and less reckless in battle. I must admit, I do feel a little scared, but I will be stronger for it. We don't have long. Before you leave, I promised you. The tattoo! I am ready, Papa. <laughs> I know you are. Your first tattoo marks you as a warrior in training. You will add many as your journey continues. Relax, daughter. It will not take long. Mount Kylos. Your mother and I had our soul union there. I don't ever want a soul union. Never. Ever. I will become a great warrior on my own. I'm not like the other scouts. Talking as if they're already warriors. They are far too childish for me. <laughs> you do not have to participate in a soul union if you do not wish to. It is your decision to make, and yours alone. Good. <clears throat> you are doing very well. I remember my first, and how much it hurt. Papa, there's so little time, and sometimes I feel like there's still so much to ask you. What is it you wish to know? What if... What if I face an opponent who cannot be beaten? I am strong, but I am small. I fear that my skills will not be enough when the time comes. You already know this answer. Never surrender. It is our way. Yes. If I fall, it will be with my sword in hand. And what if... What will you do if I return more powerful than even you? My legend spreading across the valleys. My foes quivering in fear. And I will be more proud than my simple words can express.
It is done. It is us. There is one last test you must pass before you can leave. Conquering the unknown. It's too far. I, I can't see what's down there. You must jump. Unless you wish to wait another year. No! I'm ready! Like you said, it's normal to feel scared. I can't do it. You have to help me, Papa. Wait! I just need a second to gather my courage. I can do this. I am ready. No, wait! Papa? I'm scared. Uh, you are not ready. At least I get to spend another season with you. Even though I let you down. That is not possible. I am proud of you no matter what you do. Thank you, Papa. I will be stronger for you. Papa, we should go home now. You have to let me go sometime. I want to leave this place of my shame. should have let her go. Maybe... Maybe then she would still be alive. Drax, I... Hey, that's real sad and all, but we can use some muscle over here! I am through! This is where we run. on you before. I didn't mean to. It wasn't intentional. I was only trying to pull him off you. Now really isn't the time for this. Then I will be fast. I'm sorry. I promised I wouldn't make you relive someone else's memory without your permission. Whew. Okay, we can go now. The ship! There's my girl! I'm trying! I ain't got long stick legs like the rest of you! Everyone take a seat! We're leaving! Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am 
but it's giant and terrifying and probably wants us dead. I don't need to know any more about it. In this case, I'll say your extreme lack of curiosity is a virtue, Will. Nebula's plugged into the ship. She's stable. Okay, then we're good to go. Wait! I feel something. Someone is... starving! No! Bigger! My hunger has no equal. Ah. Once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. Just one big boat. I am broke. Wrong again, Groot. We're all gonna die. Hundred me! Not today! Are we dead? <sighs> Not quite. We're lunch! Or dinner. What time is it? This slimy cave. It is... A big ol' stomach. Nebula. Look at her. What the hell is she doing? Gamora, wait! Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like... being tethered. No. I'm past that point. Don't be stupid. Please. Trying to help, Nebula. We can't do anything on our own. I'll get Rocket. There's no use. It can't be put back together. This time. Honestly, it feels good to have parts of me. Wish I could have done this whenever I wanted. Maybe then I could have slept. Thank you. For helping us back there. You risked yourself for all of us. And look where it got me. At least, Gamora is okay. It was my idea to put all this in my body. I told everyone it was so I could be better than Gamora. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. I... loved her. You should tell her exactly how you feel. You have no idea how happy that would make her. You think so? Reminder of her time with Thanos. She'd 
can't move on until that last... That last piece of him is gone. <laughs> Things will be better soon. <laughs> For everyone. Look, this might sound corny, but it's never too late to make things right. You can always make a change. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Peter, for listening to us. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll tell you what you said. I've been afraid of how she might react for so long, but... I'm already dying. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Hey. Hey. Do, uh... Do you want me to... I don't know people... <laughs> trying to fix me. I, uh... Yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I... I love you. I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. Is Nebula still? I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swapping. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. Mora, you don't need to be here right now. We understand. This is better for me. I want to help. I'm so sorry, Gamora. Me too. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh yeah. And she really seemed to care about you, Gamor. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. 
then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. some engines. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float, the easier it'll be to get airborne. <laughs> well, this place is a flying trash can anyway, so... Hey, speak for your own stuff. I got some nice things. Guns can be nice. <laughs> Please don't drop me in this. Time for round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. Oh, this creature doesn't want a midnight snack. Last thing we need is for the acid level to rise. Ideas on how to move these engines, my boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Just had to put in some elbow grease. Which sounds gross now that I think about it. inside an upset stomach. This whole stomach is lined with thorium crystals. Like the acid wasn't bad enough already. There's a rhythm to it. Groot never cleaned up his... Uh, 
disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. Hey, Rocket, make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Uh, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there finally. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out. Drax, how's the unloading going? I keep tearing objects off of the bridge, but Rocket says they are essential to life support. Yeah, um... Why don't you check with him next time? Oh man... I'm not gonna be able to get anything off of this one. Those crystals, I can blast us out of here. We'll get blown to Kingdom Come. Look at that. With all of those crystals, I can blast us out of here. We'll get blown to Kingdom Come. Rocket? Kinda busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious. Mind if I do? Parts are scarce. Incidentally, we're gonna need to replace our plumbing when we get back to nowhere. Either way, stop complaining. I wanted to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing! Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man!
Bingo. Sounds like progress. 